gosh, so many people are being hit with this heat, including ourselves here, but we have some good news. We are going to get a break from this eventually because there's some active weather making its way here. Uh, yeah, things are going to really start to change starting tomorrow. Now, today is going to be all about the heat. High temperatures will be well into the 90s again today. We have humidity levels way up with a dew point at around 70 degrees. It actually looks fantastic outside when you're just looking out. Can't uh, barely tell that temperatures are already at 86 degrees. The average high this time of the year is 82 degrees, so we're already above that, and we're just now rolling into the afternoon hours. So wind is calm, so we're not getting any help there uh, when it comes to maybe a nice breeze breeze trying to keep you a little bit cooler and the dew point is at 70 degrees. That's where it's been pretty much all morning long. Check out the barometer, the pressure 30, 24 hundredths of an inch. That is obviously on the high side and that means a couple of things. Generally, it's going to be tough for us to see more than maybe an isolated and scattered rain chance. It also means with compressional heating or with sinking air that we get something called compressional heating. It also helps to probably add another degree or two to that high temperature that we're going to see. So here's a look at those temperatures. Now we have a couple of places already flirting with the 90 degree mark. Butler and Beaver Falls, both at 89 degrees heading into the afternoon. Catanic at 88, Washington at 88 degrees. We are several degrees right now warmer than we were just at this point yesterday. And, and it does look like a number of places, including Pittsburgh, have a solid chance to hit the mid 90s for high temperatures today. Hey, we do have a couple of isolated showers showing up uh, just north of Bedford, right along and just north of the Turnpike as well. That that's more in the center of the state. For us, not much going on right now, but once again, we do have a scattered chance to isolate a chance for some rain late this afternoon. The later into the afternoon you go, the better the chance for some rain. 92 is what I'm forecasting for a high, but I got to tell you with the temperatures that we're seeing, we are actually tracking towards 93, maybe even 94 for our actual high. Now, there's a look at those expected high temperatures for you, including 92 in Beaver, Catanning at 92. You have Cases like Butler, we're only forecasting maybe 90 for the high. They're already at 89 degrees. So you can see that these temperatures certainly are trending above where we thought they'd be at this time. Here's your forecast, including that 4 o'clock temperature at 91, 7 o'clock temperature at 89 degrees, a couple of scattered thunderstorms around, and we stay hot and we stay humid in the overnight hours. This type of a setup means severe weather also could be possible, especially as we're starting to get into Wednesday. Uh, we do have a marginal risk of severe weather for most places here in western Pennsylvania. If you're heading off to the center of the state, it's upwards of a slight risk or a level two out of five when it comes to our severe weather threat for the day. The big concern, you can see the rain and the storms just off to the north. As that slides down, that will be what brings us the chance for some rain. Just scattered showers and storms today once again, more widespread tomorrow with strong winds, the biggest concern that we might see. Here's your seven day. 92 today. We're probably not going to make the 90s on Wednesday because of the rain chances arriving a little bit earlier. It's still going to be hot and humid for the day. It won't be as hot and it'll actually be a little bit below the average Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Part of the reason for that rain chances sticking around as well, including a now a rain chance for the 4th of July on Sunday with a high of only 72 now expected.